So the, the eyes are going to go to represent the time, sometimes gestures as well, depends on how much people use gestures or if they're holding them in one place or not. So put your hands by your side. Just, just keep them there, not in the pockets or anything. Just so they're free to move as okay. needed. What was the first car you had? Um, Toyota Carina. Yeah? What color was it? White. Okay, well notice we have classic I-axis EQs right there. Did anybody miss that? <laughs> anybody, I mean, okay, I just want to make sure. What's the um, next car you might get in your life? <sighs> yeah, okay. Okay. So, what did you notice there? Yeah, so it's not quite high, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She actually went through a little bit like, okay, like what she currently has, what she liked about it, and then actually is like, what might else I want to get? Okay, so she went through several different things. And notice, every location a person looks, there's something there. They may not be conscious of it, they usually aren't, but there's something that they're going through in that information. So she had like five different locations right there. Each one of those was a little bit of information. We may not know what they all are, but by putting it all together, we can then get some information. Uh, what's your current car? Okay. So notice her eyes there, right in front of her. Basically, she defocused a little, and she pointing out at the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> so location, they will point toward actual objects often. Uh, if their car wasn't anywhere near here, uh, it probably would have been, that was like really right in front of her, but she was pointing at it as well. So with this, this is actually somewhat set up with a, uh, a through time, with the past over here where you're remembering visual images, the future over here. But she was just accessing those, so realize, once again, these are models. Like, I can see a little dog running here. It's not that I'm feeling the dog. I can see it, I can visualize, you can really visualize anywhere, especially through trained skills. So once again, these are just models, they're not necessarily always how things are. Let's ask a couple more questions. What was your 16th birthday like? Okay. Okay. All right, something interesting happened there. I don't know if you can, you can catch it. Did you notice her eyes going like this? Yeah. Slightly? Were you seeing a movie? I was just remembering something that wasn't very happy. Yeah, she I was seeing that. Do you hear and see the sign? Yeah. 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 Was, was, she was, even yeah. wrinkled her nose. Was there yeah. movement in the picture? Yeah. Um, I don't know. She didn't want to go there. I think she might have been going between I see different pictures. Yeah. I see a picture. You see a picture? Did you, picture? Well, did you see multiple pictures? Yeah. Okay, that's what it was. Yeah. She was flipping back and forth yeah. between two or three different pictures. So if you see really small movements doing like this, they're usually watching a movie. If they're going between two pictures, it's a little more pronounced. It's kind of hard to see from here, but I can tell mm -hmm. she was doing There's some movement there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you were telling us about a work situation before where you were using your NLP skills. Mm -hmm. Go into that a little bit. So sometimes we're asking direct questions. Uh, she's not spending, she's accessing them, but it's not giving us a whole lot of information. So often getting them to tell a story can be useful. So now we'll go into this. Okay, so I was in a, um, I was in a room meeting this, this man who was in, in charge of all of the UC systems for um, the state of California. And I was with a teammate and she was, this man talked really fast. He talked really fast. He processed information fast and he literally did this. Wait, I gotta process information and he did this. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, he's kind of, and the gal that I was with is very kinesthetic. Mm -hmm. I, she talked slowly, she explains very slowly, and so he was very frustrated with her. So I tried to to model with him, and um, and I matched him, and I tried to get into rapport, and she noticed it so clearly because he looked at her, he dismissed her, and he turned completely towards me and was talking to me and able to connect, and it was kind of like, she was just like, wow, how did that happen? So. Mm -hmm. Have you had times like this happen before? Um, sometimes it's happened before, mm -hmm. but, um, but now I, I know why. And everyone that I'm, that I've been working with, it happened yesterday as well. Okay, like, notice that right there. Mm -hmm. Happened yesterday, which way was she pointing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Happened yesterday okay. as well. And That's the, what I was trying to, I was hoping something like that would come okay. in here. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I just want to tell the story. Did yeah. I tell the story? <laughs> 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 so cool because she thought, these, I worked with two different people.
people, and it happened twice. They thought that those two people were, were connected to me because of my title. Mm -hmm. They were just, you know, the account executive and I was the manager. And I said, no, that's not why. And then that kind of was explaining mm -hmm. the NLP part, so I think that that was And how I might use these skills in and the future. And how you could use it in the end. So it was kind of really cool yeah. to see it actually work. Yeah. So real quick. Um,